Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Forever Matte 24 Hour Liquid Lipstick. This has incredible claims. Today we're going to be looking at how this applies, how it sets, how it actually looks on the lips and feels, and then we're gonna be doing a wear test to test all these incredible claims. So if you're interested in this product, then keep on watching. So first, let's take a look at what this product actually is and what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be a weightless, transfer-proof liquid lipstick that delivers intense color in one swipe and a comfortable, smoothing matte finish for up to 24 hours. It has silica microspheres to help smooth the appearance of the lips, soft wax to ensure comfortable texture throughout the day and kaolin clay to provide an ultra matte finish all day so this has an exclusive seamless swipe applicator that features an innovative reservoir to dispense the perfect amount of product for an effortless one swipe application it's waterproof it's lightweight formula it's supposed to smooth the appearance of the lips and is infused with a blend of oils for comfortable wear so this is what the actual product looks like if you are familiar with the rouge artist lipstick then it is very similar packaging um, but obviously this one is going to be a liquid lipstick so it twists off this is that um, exclusive seamless swipe applicator as you can see it collects quite a bit of product so we're gonna see how that actually performs does it actually give you the perfect amount um, and does it actually offer that um, you know one swipe application the biggest claims I'm gonna be looking at today are the uh, transfer proof. I am a huge fan of transfer proof liquid lipsticks because I find they typically are the longest wearing and they also I hate when I have to worry about it transferring on to different things. If it gets in my hair, is it going to go on my face? If it's transfer proof, it really helps, um, you know, you'd be able to go about your day without worrying about it. Another thing is the 24 hour wear. That's like incredible. I am not gonna be testing it for 24 hours, but I am gonna be doing two days of testing so we can really see how long wearing this is. Um, and then obviously it's supposed to be smoothing to the lips, waterproof and lightweight. You know, all of these things I'm gonna keep in mind. Um, hopefully it will be the case though because um, that sounds incredible. And I was a huge fan of their lipsticks from this collection. So let's hope this is another success. So I got the shade. Endlessly blushed, which is number 107. I'll give it a little swatch for you guys. It does look quite smooth on the hand, considering it is so matte. Now that obviously needs time to dry down, but that's the shade. It is described as a cool nude. I wouldn't say that's cool toned. Would you guys? Like that looks like it has a little bit of warmth. It's not overly orange or overly like warm toned, but that definitely doesn't look super cool toned although to be fair we could see maybe a shift as it dries so i will keep that in mind as well so i'm going to go ahead and apply so i feel like i was able to get the full bottom lip with one swipe I do feel like I need to go back in for more for the top, um, so just to keep that in mind. So, it does have that same fragrance that the lipsticks have, which I don't necessarily love. I don't know. It's very strong, but it doesn't really bother me. I'm not super sensitive to fragrance. It doesn't really bother me, but it is like a decently strong fragrance. So if you're super against it, you might not love that. Um, the color is really nice though. I do still feel like it's quite warm toned compared to the description, but I do like it personally. I will note, I feel like it's kind of accentuating the lines in my lips quite significantly especially on the bottom. I almost feel like I need to like go like that and apply some like in, it almost like it, it wouldn't, it didn't apply evenly. I don't know. Do you see what I mean? Like it like looks like not fully opaque inside the lines. Aside from that though, 
It is a nice matte finish. It's quite matte. So if you don't like the look of that like matte where it kind of looks like your lips are a little bit dry, then you probably aren't gonna like this to be honest with you. It's quite matte. It looks a little bit better now that I applied that little second coat and made sure it kind of got in those lines. I would still say it's accentuating the lines, but I feel like there's not too many liquid lipsticks that are matte finish and that actually last all day that don't do that. So I'm not super upset about it, but if you don't like that look, then you probably won't like this. Um, but I think going into this, you're gonna know it's gonna be super matte. So if you didn't like that finish, you probably wouldn't be interested in this product. Um, overall, I'm quite happy. Aside from that little hiccup there um, where it looked a little patchy, um, not patchy, but how where it wouldn't, it didn't evenly distribute kind of inside my lines, if that makes sense. Aside from that, it looks quite smooth um, and it feels really lightweight. It does feel a little bit dry, but not horrible. Like I've felt much worse. So overall for a matte liquid lipstick, it's pretty good. Um, I'm just more concerned about the claims. Like I feel like if this doesn't live up to the claims, I wouldn't be all that impressed. Um, but if this actually is transfer proof, actually lasts, you know, a significant amount of time. I don't know about the 12, 24 hours, but if it lasts a long time, then I think I would be quite happy with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if it's transfer proof. It definitely is, not even a speck. And the nice thing about this is, which a lot of transfer proof liquid lipsticks do, they almost get bunchy or even just matte liquid lipsticks. They get kind of bunchy up in the inner lip and that's usually what you'll see on your hand, I have nothing. So it has, it is quite thin and comfortable and lightweight and it doesn't get kind of thick in those areas. Um, so when I did the kiss test, it definitely was completely transfer proof. Um, so overall, I'm actually quite impressed upon first impression, but I definitely am skeptical and wanna see how the this product wears to form a final opinion. So I will be back um, and I will update you guys throughout the day again. I'm gonna be doing a day two so that we can get a really long wear to really put it to the test. So if you're interested in seeing how this baby holds up, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so it has been about two, no, sorry, three hours. Sorry, baby is sleeping in here. It's the only way I get stuff done. Um, it's been about three hours since I applied. Now I did eat lunch and I ate a sub, which is something that's obviously gonna really test the transfer proofness of it. And we had some removal of the product. So I'm not super pumped about that because considering it said it was transfer proof and 24 hour wear, I, I would expect it to hold up to eating. Now to be fair, it was a sub. So I'm not like completely writing the product off, but I'm definitely not as excited as I was when this video started. Um, so that's a little unfortunate, but let's continue to see how it wears, the rest of it wears for the rest of the day. And then day two, I will, um, you know, maybe not eat things that are so messy and see if it actually gives the, you know, really, really long wear with transfer proof. Um, yeah, so just thought I'd update you guys on that. Um, yeah, so we shall see. Hey guys, so just ignore the um, fan noise in the background. I have my dehumidifier on right now um, and also my air conditioning is on. So hopefully it's not too loud. Um, so this is the end of day two for the Makeup Forever liquid lipstick. As you can see, it's off. It's completely off and it's 8.30. I applied it at 11 o'clock. So it's only been nine and a half hours. Um, now that's a really long time for a liquid lipstick to wear. Um, I would say it's been off. So, okay, let me rewind. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I would say it had barely even budged a little tiny bit. Like it's barely moved at all um, until about probably 6, 6.30 when I ate. I feel like it's pretty much completely transfer proof unless you're eating. Um, so for example, I ate lunch um, and I had something, I had um, leftovers from last night, like little tortellinis. Um, so those, you know, I just used a fork and it wasn't messy at all. Didn't affect the li liquid lipstick at all. Drinking from a mug, from a cup, from a straw, nothing. It didn't affect it. It didn't rub it off. It was completely transfer proof in that regard. 
Um, so I was, you know, it, it held up really well, but as soon as you eat something that rubs on the lips, day tonight for dinner, I had ribs and corn on the cob. So, I mean, you can't expect products to hold up to everything. Um, but I do, I do have a couple like the, the um, L'Oreal liquid lipstick, I feel like would have held up a lot better than this. So there's pros and cons to this. Um, I do feel like it's extremely comfortable and extremely lightweight for a matte liquid lipstick. It is a little bit drying to the lips, but it's not too bad. I would say clearly it's not transfer proof because you can't, you know, eat without anything messy, without it rubbing off. But I feel like if you, you know, if you're looking for a product that's gonna last all day, as long as you're not eating anything really messy, it actually will last all day. So I do really like the product. I will definitely use it again, um, but I wouldn't say it lived up to the claims. I, I am a little bit disappointed in that regard for sure. Do I still like it? Yes, because I feel like those claims are, like, you know, the 24 hour wear is a little bit excessive. It's a little bit much. Um, you know, I don't really think any liquid lipstick could ever last that long. So yeah, I have mixed emotions about it because I did really enjoy it. And I feel like if I had have had a dinner where, you know, you're eating with a fork and it's not rubbing all over your face, I feel like I would still probably have it on. It maybe would fade a little bit, but I do feel like I would have still had it on at this point. Now I'm just going, I'm, I'm blabbing on now, but yeah, that's basically the gist of it. I do like it. There's a lot of liquid lipsticks that would have worn off and faded much quicker. And it's basically pretty budge proof unless you're eating. So ultimately I am impressed. Ultimately I do recommend it, but just I think because the claims, you know, I'm disappointed because it claimed to be all of these things and it didn't. So it kind of failed in my eyes, but at the same time I was really happy with it. You know what I mean? That is my final opinion. Um, I hope that was helpful and not confusing. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.